All right, guys, let's go. We've made it to the Surf Center of Palm Beach Gardens. It's very nice, as you can see. I thought it was going to be like a dark place, but it, it's pretty nice. So I'm currently on my pre-op for my surgery. I just got blood work done and then I'm getting this put on me because we're gonna be doing an EKG, which I didn't know that we were doing. And then I also got an x-ray of my chest, which checks out my heart and my lungs. So my primary doctor is about to come in and also give me the results for that. So this is a week before my surgery and so far this is all I've had to do. Good morning, everyone. Today is a very, very significant day in my life. I am getting knee surgery. I'm getting my ACL reconstructed. Um, I'm gonna do this vlog to just bring you along the journey of you know what it's gonna be like these next seven days or these next few days until I see my doctor, see how much pain I'm gonna be in. A few years ago, I did a rhinoplasty video and that blew up. You guys really enjoyed that. So I thought, why not bring you along on my ACL reconstruction? So how did I tear my ACL and both meniscus or menisci? I still don't know which one I'm supposed to be using, but pretty much I was in Colorado, February, 2023, skiing, first time ever skiing, first day, last run. I was feeling super confident. I paid extra to go and take ski lessons. The ski lessons were like pretty much all day. And I thought, I mean, I didn't, Think I was doing really well. I picked up skiing like that, but what happened was after we were done, I did meet up with my boyfriend and a group of all our friends, and I was, you know, ready to go hit a real run. I tell my boyfriend, look, I'm ready. I want to hit a really easy, like, you know, slope or whatever you call them, because I still don't know the right terminology. And you know, before the mountain closes, because it was like around four o'clock, and mountain closes at four thirty, so. They said, yeah, let's go. So we get up on the lift and my other friend who was with me on the ski lessons looks at me and she's like, we're going really high while we were on the lift. And I'm like, yeah, we are. It's, I don't know, maybe, you know, this is what easy is. We were practicing the whole day. So when we got off the lift, it wasn't fully straight. It was like at a little angle. And then it just like at one point goes like that. And I look down and I'm like, wow, that is, very steep like this is easy like i guess like if it's easy then i'm i'm gonna be able to do it like i have to do it how, how else am i gonna get down so i start going and you know i'm doing really well i start like going from side to side and then at one point i just caught a lot of speed and i got a little nervous but i'm like i kept on going side to side and i'm like when am i gonna stop i wasn't going any slower so i started like cutting so that i could stop and when i did that my ski went in the snow and we had just tightened my boots so instead of my boot popping off my body and the ski like it just all completely turned on one side and i fell immediately to the ground and all my friends came over and they're like oh my god are you okay and i'm like i don't know my knee hurts a lot and yeah, that's how I did it. I actually ended up getting back up and here's a video of me trying to ski right after that. I remember telling my boyfriend, I'm like, take a video of me. Like I have no videos of me skiing, like just take one. But like right before this video, I was falling down nonstop. So before me falling and like hurting my knee, I think I had like fallen in total that day three or four times. So I was, like I said, doing really well. But after that, the minute that I got up, I just had no stability in my leg and I was just like falling every single time. So that is how I tore my ACL. They ended up taking me off the mountain because there was no way I was getting down there. Like it would have taken me maybe an hour to get all the way down. So a ski patrol took me and my friend on the little sled, which was a lot of fun. And then I got my knee checked out the next day at the clinic, which ended up being a very expensive visit, of course, because it's like an emergency clinic and yeah they told me that they couldn't diagnose me because my knee was too swollen and to just go to my doctor when i got home and when i did they told me that i had a torn acl after looking at the mris and they couldn't tell though if my meniscus were also torn so that i found out the day of surgery and you're about to see all of this right now this is me actually post-surgery so it's been three weeks and I am standing and somewhat walking with a leg brace, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I am not an expert when it comes to ACL reconstruction, but I'll try my best to give you any tips. Chloe, I love you. 
All right, guys, so I have officially been out of surgery now for like two hours. I'm at my mom's house. They ended up having to repair my meniscus, which sucks because I'm in a straight leg cast, which means I won't be able to bend my knee for at least, I think it's like four or six weeks, which is wild. My toes are freaking cold. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, my mom's picking up my pain meds right now. I'm usually one to not want to take any, but I really need some in this situation. I wasn't able to record at the surgery center because they had like signs everywhere saying do not record, but this is what I looked like. And the other cool thing was that I was the only patient they had today. So literally like there was no one else there. I had the surgery center to myself. It was very nice and clean, I think. We did a really good job at picking which one we went to. So yeah, this is, I guess, technically day one of me recovering and I have an appetite. Chino brought me some Publix cookies and a balloon. This is what I got her on a bright, sunny day. Sending sunny thoughts your way. That was a poem and like, I didn't even mean it to be a poem. And I got her these flowers mini orchids that she will most definitely be killing in the next week. <laughs> and sugar cookies. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have my mom get dinner for us because I do have an appetite. The anesthesia is wearing off. I'm like burping it up and everything and I don't feel nauseous, which is awesome. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna get for dinner. It is almost 10 o'clock at night, still first day. I'm feeling a little bit more awake than I was when I first spoke to you guys. Currently, this is how we have my leg set up. So we have like a thing and then a towel. We already iced my leg for a little bit. I've been using the bathroom, but it is very, very painful. Like I have never felt pain like this in my life. Um, you know, I've, I've gotten like a rhinoplasty, otoplasty at the same time. And like that, when it comes to a scale on one to five on pain was like a one. This one to five is literally like a 10. Like it is insane. But um, I just took some Oxy and I'm gonna, I'm hoping that that helps a little bit, but I feel like my muscle, my quad is like throbbing and it just like does not, it doesn't feel good. My ankle's hurting. I'm also on my period. So when I'm on my period, I get really bad body aches. So I'm just like, I, I'm not, I'm not doing like, this isn't my best. Good morning, everyone. It is actually officially day one. I was saying day one was yesterday, which we can call it that, but I feel like that's more day zero. Day one is now. I woke up at like 6 a.m., fell asleep around 11. My throat hurts a lot. I, I feel like they didn't put a tube in me, but it hurts so much. Now, pain level. On a scale to one to five, I'm like at a four and a half, five. I'm in a lot of pain. I took some of the more, more pain meds and I iced my... Um, leg a little bit but it hurts so much like I I've never been in this much pain I know it's gonna hurt more later today because the nerve blocker is gonna like stop working so in a few hours I'm probably gonna be in excruciating pain um, so far day one a lot of pain I have a work meeting in 30 minutes so I didn't take PTO I forgot to put it by PTO so I have to work today online um, so that's gonna be fun I'm most definitely having breakfast of champions with some public sugar cookies that Cheeto brought me and then I also have raw juice I, th I think you guys heard me talk about it before I love raw juice the juices are so good so my mom bought some yesterday just so I can have a nice little stock here and that's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast so I don't get nauseous with the pain meds all right guys, this is the process. We're going to the bathroom. We've tried a wheelchair. The crutches that my mom was supposed to grab for me yesterday, she didn't because they have crutches here, but it's not my size. Like it's not my height. So they need to go pick that up today. So for now, I'm literally like hopping with this, which is pretty easy. It's getting a really good workout on my left leg. Goodbye. So the doctor sent me this. This has like an ice pack in it. Um, since my foot is straight, I guess, or my leg is straight, I guess I can't like bend it. So it's missing. I'm not getting ice down there, but I'm getting a lot of ice up here. And you can also pump it so it tightens even more. Right now, we're also going to add some ice to my ankle because it is killing me. 
all right doctor just called and i was telling him how much pain i'm in so he said that it was okay for me to kind of take off the brace take off the bandages i'm not going to take off this white stuff though just because i feel like that is what's covering the wound but we're about to start icing my leg and actually getting some ice on it i'm very sore my quad is it feels like it's bruised but i just think it's because that's where they took the muscle out of so yeah day one is coming to an end it's already nine o'clock and pretty much i've just been chilling i feel a lot better um when i like last spoke to you guys i was in excruciating pain and then the doctor called me not too long after that and said that i'm able to take two of the oxys because he was like how many are you taking and i'm like one he's like oh no no no, no. you need both i also found out that both of my meniscus were torn so I don't know how I partied and did so much for like four months without being in really bad pain, but um, I took the bandaging off uh, the brace and this is what it looks like. We put ice on this already. It felt a lot better, but yeah, it's, I, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. I was able to bump up my appointment so he can take everything off and we can look at the open wounds. It's officially day two and right now I'm on my way to the post stop. The doctor is gonna be checking out my leg. I'm hoping that the bandage and everything comes off so I can see what it looks like. It is hurting a lot, not as much as yesterday, but I did take more pain medicine today since the doctor said I could double up my dose. Um, it's not making me loopy or anything. I just have not ate, like I have zero appetite. I had like two side salads in the past two days and cookies. So not so good on my health. We're gonna try to go to eat somewhere after this to see if my appetite will open up, but I'll keep you posted on what the doctor says. Okay, you ready? Is it gonna be like stuck on my skin? No, oh, I got gotcha. you. There's a little... Oh, that's nice. Looks pretty, right? Yeah. Oh, that feels so nice. All right, but... I'm having my first official meal at all of you. This is like a Mediterranean Chipotle. Super good. Got my leg posted up. It's a little weird because the brace was used when I had all those bandages, and now that I don't have them, it's like sliding off of my leg. So I don't know if that's like a bad thing or if I need to get a new brace. We also got crutches and they don't, they're like too small for me. Welcome to day three. My pain level has gone down by a lot, but I have been like very on point with my pain medicines, like taking them every four hours and I've been doubling the dose. So I've been taking two instead of one. Here is what my knee looks like. The brace that the doctor took off yesterday, now that my leg isn't like wrapped up anymore, is extremely loose on me even when we tighten it all the way it's like not tightening so i reached out to them hopefully they could get me another brace because technically right now i should have that brace on and not be like with my leg just free and all um we do have a wheelchair we're at the dmv right now so that i can get a handicap pass Look what we got handicap because your girl's handicapped so that's gonna be valid until september um, we rode around in the wheelchair right now and it was a lot easier than the little uh, scooter that I was using. The only thing is the wheelchair is a little bit old, so it kind of feels like it's going to break. So fingers crossed that it doesn't, but I think that's going to be the easiest way for me to get around as of right now. I also already got therapy books. I'm starting it on Tuesday, so that's literally a week after my surgery. Um, I'm going to like supposedly a really good therapist. I told my doctor that I want the best person that is gonna like push me and like even make me cry if I have to. So yeah, I'm excited to start getting, you know, this move, this knee moving around so I can like go back to somewhat of normal activity. Good morning, welcome to day four. I am feeling a lot better today. Pain med wise, I'm, all, I'm down to one now when it comes to the Oxy, I'm not taking two. I'm currently back on the couch working. Baby Chloe is right there, you know, always keeping me company. She's doing this really cute thing now that if I'm using the walker, she'll jump in like that little seated area so that she can like ride along with me. But other than that, the swelling has gone down a lot. All right, so I'm currently icing, but the swelling According to everyone, looks a lot better. Here's my good knee, here's the other knee. I don't know why this one looks so much darker, but it doesn't hurt as much. Yesterday, we were doing some abrupt 
movements and I ended up like kind of making it really sore. I was trying to get on my bed and since my bed is a lot taller, that was a little bit hard. So we decided that maybe I'll just keep staying on the couch. But other than that, that's the update for today. If I, you know, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. But pain wise, it's way better. And the really go like good thing about me having worked out a lot before is I have a lot of strength in my left leg. So I'm able to kind of like pull myself up do squats when it comes to like keeping one leg up with just one leg and not struggle as much so that's a really thing to keep a note of just make sure that you're strong before surgery little update amber and shay shay sent us over some edible arrangements we got bananas apples and strawberries and they're so freaking delicious what do you think about them you get some they're amazing can't believe it's been five days since I got my surgery. My knee is way less swollen and I have a bit more mobility. That doesn't mean that I'm like putting weight or anything on my foot yet, but I can feel that when I go to PT, I'm gonna be able to move my knee a little bit better. Um, I've also stopped taking the Oxy. I've moved over to Tylenol, which doesn't hurt my stomach as much. The Oxy wasn't really hurting my tummy, but it was just kind of like letting everything sit in there. So I didn't like that. As of now, I'm no longer nauseous. I've been sleeping on my bed. I think I can probably go home in a week. The only issue with me going home is that my PT is about an hour away from my house. And the reason for that is that I literally told the doctor, I'm like, I want you to send me to the best PT. I don't care if I have to drive an hour or my mom or my boyfriend to drive an hour. But it's just super critical because I want to be able to move like normal when I'm done with this whole thing which is going to be like six to nine months of therapy so Chino has convinced me to go out I was just trying to stay in well there wasn't much convincing he just said let's go out and I'm like okay so currently this is how I am positioned in the car it's a little awkward we can't buy my house or by my mom's house there's this churro spot this guy has been here since I was a child literally he's been here for over 15 years and he makes these frucho fruchos he makes these churros fresh to order one of these is filled with guava and both of them are tossed in cinnamon sugar they're so freaking good he's at el presidente like every single day it's sunday and he's here so these are definitely i haven't had them in such a long time but they're so good it's officially day eight and i feel a lot better these last three days i haven't really vlogged i've kind of been very exhausted i have i honestly have never been like this tired in my life it kind of feels like covid 2020 when you had nothing to do at home obviously i have my job to do but i have still been so exhausted i can't like get myself to get up except today today i've been a little bit more productive but yesterday was my first therapy session and i think i'm gonna like be on my feet asap probably four weeks but that's still really, really like good compared to, I guess like other people. I don't, I don't really know how it works, but the therapy is in Boynton, which is 30 minutes away from my mom. So from my house, it's gonna be like an hour, an hour and 20. It's really gonna be worth the drive because this isn't like your regular therapy. So what I love a lot about this therapy is that each, it's not like your regular therapy where you go in and there's just like tables everywhere and you know, people are working on you they have individual rooms for everyone which i love i think it makes it a little bit better you're not like listening to everyone else doing their workouts and they're also it it seems i mean i don't know because i've never had like there i have never gotten surgery and then like got, gone to therapy but it seems like the equipment that they have is also a little bit more up to date what they're using it honestly hurt a lot yesterday but we got my knee to bend to 90 degrees which is huge um i also lifted my leg i did some other workouts they even like had these boots that they put on me that filled up with air and kind of like gave compression to my legs which helps with um inflammation and just kind of like getting your circulation going so other than that now i'm gonna have to go to therapy three times a week for the for the next three weeks i believe and then we're gonna bump it down to two and then i believe one so therapy is gonna be a few months but i'm like ready to get this going i want to be back to normal to even be able to ski a lot of people are asking me like are you ever gonna ski again and i'm like yeah i don't see why not what happened wasn't like my fault 
And I feel like it was a mistake that needed to happen and it sucks that it had to happen to me on the first day, but I don't think that's gonna happen again because me and Chino are very cautious of what we need to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first week of me recovering. Something that I didn't show you guys in that recovery video is that a few days after that, I ended up getting IV therapy at my physical therapist's office, which it was supposed to help me hydrate and help with the pain and reduce swelling and all that stuff and just get the vitamins that my body needed. That ended up actually doing to my body is giving me a full allergic reaction. I had I've never experienced anything like that in my life and it was quite terrible. I don't know if I was more bothered about my knee surgery or the allergic reaction all over my body. Like it was just bumps any everywhere and I'm actually still kind of recovering from it right now and this was a week and a half ago. So maybe don't get IV therapy if you get your surgery, let your body heal. I don't think I'm ever gonna be getting it again just because I don't know what caused me to have an allergic reaction. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If any of you are getting your ACL surgery soon, feel free to leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions. But other than that, thank you so much for watching again and I'll talk to you guys soon.